everyone, I've got my makeup artist and friend Nikki LaRose with me and today it's another fun video that you guys have requested because we have done a Sephora top sellers review. Yes. Now we're going to look at Ulta's top selling foundations. Ooh. That's what we're going to be reviewing today. Ulta does it a little bit different than Sephora mm -hmm. does. So if you actually like refresh and actually we noticed this with, with Sephora too. If you refresh on a different day, the top sellers list can shift a little bit. Oh. But overall, we found that these foundations that we're going to review today, they kind of were the ones that remained the top sellers. There's yes. also one other thing that Ulta does differently when it comes to the top sellers list versus Sephora. Mm -hmm. They actually sponsor the top sellers list too. So you'll see a oh. couple of the foundations or whatever products in that list, like if you're doing whatever category, yeah. it'll say like sponsor here or there. Wow. Kind of like yeah. Amazon does. You know, when you like search for yep. a product on the Amazon and you'll see like there's a couple products at the top of the list and it says like sponsored. It's the same thing with Ulta. They sponsor a couple of products on the top sellers list. Mm. So this list could change. Like you, we might be telling you this Got is it. a top sellers list today. You might see a different top sellers list, but we can at least confidently say these are top selling foundations that you can buy at Ulta. Let's do it. Before we get in the foundations, if you haven't watched the other videos, what we're essentially doing is just looking at the top selling list. We're going to give you our opinion. We're like blindly going into this. So we may or may not have tried these foundations. Yep. And we're just going to give you our like true raw thoughts, yep. right? All right. So foundation number one is It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. So it's not their like OG CC cream. Yeah. It is the nude glow one, which gives more of like a skin tint feel. Have you used that? I have used it. And actually I have to say out of all the ones that they have, because they have plenty, I love the matte one the most. I used it for a chunk of my life. Like, yeah. I want to say I used it for like five years straight at one point. I loved it. St I would still love it probably Wait, there's now. a matte one? You're not talking about no. like the OG. CC no. Cosmetics. No, I personally, personally, I've tried all of them. I love the matte one. I yeah. love it. I'm a little bit torn on this. I yeah. think me now, I like this one better. I am a huge fan yeah. of the OG It Cosmetics CC Cream. Like I've put it in videos as like a holy grail product. I don't think it's like me anymore because it is more of a natural finish, borders on being matte, and it's pretty pigmented. Like it's pretty high coverage oh, yeah. for a like CC cream. It's not a skin tint. No. This, I was like, oh, okay. Like when they launched this version, mm -hmm. I felt like, okay, this is gonna be more like a skin tint, which we didn't call skin tints at the time, mm -hmm. right? Like this is a newer term, Yeah. but it had more of that like gloss highlighty, like luminous look to it. Very glowy. Yeah, but still yeah. pigmented. So I thought I was gonna love it. Then I tried it and I felt like it was a little too glisteny. And then I retried it and I was like, this is like my jam now. Mm -hmm. Like this is what I would want. So I, I don't know if they reformulated it or I've just had like a whole like change in what I'm looking for when it comes to a foundation or in this case, like a skin tint. Mm -hmm. I like this one. You like it now. <laughs> All that to say, I like this one. It is more pigmented than I like to use on a regular basis though. Yeah, they all are. Every yeah. single one, matte, glowy, original one, they all offer like a ton of coverage. So I think people were always really surprised because going into it, you CCC cream and you think it's going to be like you said, like a skin tint. No, they're like full on pigment. Like, they're like medium coverage. They're in the foundation category. They are. Right? Like yeah. this is on Ulta. They're being considered foundation. And so. they should be because they're, they do offer so much coverage. They're not like a skin tint. They're not like a tinted moisturizer. They're like a full blown foundation. Yeah. Personally, I like the original one more than I like the glow. If I were to choose between the two, like it just stays really, really wet. And yeah. I just can't stand that. For context, the original CC cream that we all know and love, right? Yeah. That like brought us all together as a community. <laughs> yeah. That one, the trick used to be to put like a oil in it or like a moisturizer to make it more glowy. Oh, like if you wanted less coverage, more glowy, that's what you would do. Yeah. And so I think that's what this now is. Mm. It's like that iteration of it, like taking that concept. But I agree with you, like it's not gonna be my go-to with all the skin tints on the market now. Yeah. It's just not my go-to. No. It doesn't dry down the way I want it to. It mm -hmm. does feel heavy. It's pretty pigmented. And if I'm going for that glowy look, I'm usually going for something that's newer on the market because yeah. there are such good products on the market. Yeah. Also, and I don't know if the original CC cream is gonna be on this list, but let's say it's not on this list. I don't know. I think people, myself included, so when I say people, I'm including myself in this. We used to treat this like our sunscreen. <sighs> Oh, I did the same thing. So rough. I did the same the original thing original and one. this one. Yeah. yeah. All of them because they're SPF 50. 50. Yeah. 
which was unheard of. They really did. They were like the first. Yeah, I want to say I don't remember any we other like, brand. Oh, doing I've that. got my sunscreen covered because I'm wearing SPF 50. But yeah, it turns I out feel we good were about right it. Enough. So what do we want to rate this? I'm gonna give this a three. And this is the glow one. This is the glow. I would give it like a 2.5. Ooh, ouch. It just doesn't dry down at all. It's just frustrating to me. Let's go ahead and see what the average star rating is from the customers. Wow. Oh my gosh, oh, it has a 4.5. Woo! People love it. Okay. Wow. We got to hear some of the reviews. Yeah. Pulling this up on my phone just right now to read a review and just realize this is SPF 40 and I knew that. I knew I that. I didn't realize that. Yeah. This is not like the OG that says it's SPF 50. This is SPF 40. So there's a little bit of a difference. So Nude Glow, $47. I don't remember it being $47 either. I don't either. I thought it was like 38. Oh, I'm keeping my three. My yeah. three rating. It's $47? I say stick to the original one and the map. I say stick to the original or if you want, you know what, that's not even a fair thing to say because they're completely different finishes. Yeah. If you want this kind of a finish, I'd go for the NARS I light know. reflecting foundation. Absolutely. Like that's that's really what I would yeah. want to achieve. It feels don't worry lighter. About sunscreen in it. Yeah, don't worry Just about your sunscreen. sunscreen underneath. Yeah. So don't that eliminates that factor. And yeah, the NARS light reflecting is so much more yep. beautiful. 92% wow. of people would recommend this product to a friend. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. So helpful. So it says most helpful positive review. Finally found the perfect foundation. This person gave it five stars. I've been on the hunt for a good foundation for a couple years, ever since the formula in my last foundation changed. I'm only 33 and was sick and tired of these foundations settling into my pores and forehead lines. I felt like my foundations were aging me 10 years and highlighting my flaws. Mm -hmm. Not this stuff. This foundation gives it an awesome glow, goes on so smooth, I use a sponge, and doesn't cake up. I have yellow undertone, so I purchased the light W. It was a little darker than what I would have expected for a light, but I, I'm going to order another in the fair for winter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say from the explanation that this person gave as a 33-year-old is there's no skincare prep, and they were using probably matte foundations. Yeah, probably, yeah. So I and that's why this is like so much better. Yeah, this yeah. is like game changer. I bet you she'd like that NARS one. She'd love so that much NARS more. one. Yeah. It'd feel lighter. Okay, the critical review of this that's been the most helpful is two stars, right color, but why is it wrong? Okay. <laughs> I ordered light fair like I always do in my illumination CC and the oil free bye bye foundation, but it comes much darker and I can't even use it. It's a totally different color. I know what's wrong right here. She's used to buying the illumination CC, which has pearl pigments in it, which obviously are going to make that product look lighter than it actually is. So yeah. she's used to like that light reflecting bounce back with the illumination one because it yeah. has pearl pigment in it. Yeah. So when it she looks picked tinny. up, it's like tin matte. It is. It's like very. It's like putting down like a liquid illuminator on your skin for sure, with like a yeah. little bit of coverage that never dries down, which is so frustrating. I can tell right away that's what's going on here. She is picking out the same exact color that she's used to with the illumination one, but it's turning out much darker because there's no. It's minus the pearl reflex in it, so yeah. it's turning out to look like it's much darker than. Yeah, that makes complete you know sense. What I mean? Yeah, I'm a little floored, if I'm being real honest. I'm floored that this has like such high reviews, but I wonder if a we lot of people just, who are using it have used some dry cakey matte foundations and they found this and have not tried out mm -hmm. all of the new improved skin yeah. tints on the market. All right, so next is Estee Lauder Double Wear. Talk about an opposite of the spectrum. Foundation and also, Finish, but, but also everything. like an OG. Yeah, another OG. I feel like Ulta is just maybe a little, I don't know, maybe I'm just misjudging this based on like the two foundations that we're seeing so far, but it's like very, not with the times. No, okay. Double Wear is such an old foundation. Yeah, but it's good. No, it's great. I'm not saying it's, no, it's definitely a great I, foundation, what but I'm it's saying, very old school. What I'm saying is I think Ulta is where people go for less trend and more for staples. Mm. Like they're sticking with I their staple yeah. products. Yeah. I'm making we'll, these We'll see, who knows? Maybe there'll be some other ones in here that change our mind, but Double Wear from Estee Lauder. Back when I used to be a Mac girl and I, I worked for Mac for years, like a lot of my, buddies wore Estee Lauder double wear, like over MAC foundation. You did too? Yeah, I love this foundation. It's definitely an amazing foundation. I never found a shade that worked well for me, so I kind of just like, eh, like just let it go. So I, I never got into it, but I appreciate that it's a great formula, that it really is incredibly long wearing. It's full coverage. It looks flawless, all, it's all those things. So I appreciate it, but I never really got hardcore into it personally. <laughs> you know, I still recommend it to people, 
Do you? Yeah, yeah I can when, see why. When somebody tells me that they don't like the skin tints, they don't like all these new things, like everything that like yeah. everybody's talking about from Sephora, yeah, doesn't work for them, and they tell me they just want like this foundation. It, it sounds like pretty classic. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? You need double wear. Double wear. <laughs> it ticks all the boxes of what a person looking for a good foundation would need. Yeah. If they're looking for full coverage that, yeah. that's going to last all day. Last all day, give you full coverage, not going to look cakey, going to look like a skin finish and lots of shade range. Other than like MAC, they had like one of the best shade ranges available. Exactly. Not going to be like over luminizing, not going to be overly matte. Like it was it's more just, of a satin finish, it's right? It's a satin yeah. finish. Like yeah. it's a good classic foundation. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I, I have to get it. Now I'm definitely, after this video tonight, I'm going to sit and put it in my cart and I'm going to buy it and do like a review. Like it's not going to be your house labs. It's just going to be a good but classic foundation. But I might foundation. love it. Yeah. You I might be it. like, this is a good foundation yeah. to have. Listen, I haven't even like touched that foundation in over 10 years. It's been a while so, for me. Yeah. Not 10 years, but maybe like three or four. So if, so if they'd like four, yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, I go back to that stuff. Shoo. <laughs> Shoo. <laughs> It is a good foundation. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay. I don't really feel like I could fairly rate it. I'm gonna give it a four. Had you asked me five years ago, I'd say a five. Wow, okay, okay. that says a lot. Yeah, so I'm gonna give it a four, and the reason for that is because I do think that the times have changed. Mm -hmm. What we look for in a foundation is different. Mm -hmm. Me personally, right, so there's a little personal bias, right? Mm -hmm. I look for a more glowy skin tint yeah. finish now, yeah. and I don't need a medium coverage foundation. Or a full. Or a full coverage foundation, which this, can be. So I'm going to give it a four. Mm. It's $49. Okay. It has 10,410 reviews because it's it's an OG. Wow. 4.6 stars. So, um, so oh, yeah, that's what really I was good. expecting. That's what I was expecting. Okay. Let's see what these reviews say. 95% of people would recommend this product to a friend. Wow. The top review says five stars, best makeup. I have a hard skin tone to match. I have always struggled with finding a good makeup for my oily combination skin. After trying many brands and creams, I, would, I was told to try this product. I went in to get a tone match and found the perfect one. This stuff stays on all day and I hardly have to touch up anymore. It's really good for my uneven skin tone as well. Definitely recommend for anyone looking for a good coverage foundation. That's exactly what I explained. Yeah. I would explain to people because even like someone like me who tends to be more dry, mm -hmm. I think it's good for all skin types too. That's amazing. That's a really great review. Yeah. Let's look at the Ooh. critical review. Two stars. What happened to all the other reviews for this? Oh, this is somebody um, calling them out. Okay. I've been using this product literally since the week it was released, 20 years plus ago. The formula was, all caps, perfect. The shade shell was perfect. The formula has been changed and no longer has sunscreen. I actually oh. agree with taking the sunscreen out. Good. It was probably it's like, great. Sunscreen. I don't remember it having sunscreen, but it was probably I like an SPF like 15. 15 yeah. Like 20. something that's like, yeah. why make it a sunscreen when it could just be makeup? Yeah. The shade shell was originally replaced with a drugstore orange shade, but they keep testing new shades. All of them horrible. What? When they first changed the formula and dropped this very popular shade, the reviews were terrible. It went from a five-star product and kept dropping. It seems like the review counter has been reset. It mm -hmm. appears to me that Estee is starting over with new reviews by consumers who aren't familiar with how good the old Ooh. formula was, so they have no idea how awful this formula is compared to that. I'm exhausted by this review. She's upset. She's, She's upset. Very upset. She's real upset. She's upset because they reformulated it and nobody's calling it out. Now I really want to try. I wish I had an old bottle laying around to try. There are a few people, like I, I just, oh, I'm scrolling. I returned I return this makeup. Okay. The formula has changed. It's very chalk-like on the face. Wow. Interesting. I do think you need to review it. Maybe we it. should, yeah. I think I got to order this like now. The formula that I recall using, which was just a few years ago. A four. Four, okay. If it has since been reformulated, I wouldn't know. Yeah. So, so I haven't based tried on it. your old experience. Yes. Yeah. Which is not that old for Years, not that no, long no, 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 not that long ago. Yeah. yeah, not that long ago. Like, I okay. it definitely was like up there for me. Stay tuned because I'm going to buy this foundation like right away. All right, so next up on the list, ooh, Mac bringing it back to your old days. It's not trend, that no, is for it's sure. Not. It's the a top sellers work. are not trend. This is the Mac Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 foundation, the most old school foundation other than double wear that you could find. This just takes me back. I can actually close my eyes and I can smell that foundation right now. You used to drop bottles of it. When you dropped a bottle, it went everywhere oh. on like the stone floor at MAC. Oh. But I love that foundation. It's a great foundation. It was like the most popular foundation on earth. Like everyone wore MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It's still a popular foundation. And I 
think for good reason. It's a classic formula. It's extremely long wearing. It looks beautiful on your skin. However, if you don't prep your skin properly, it can look horrible. But that goes with any foundation, but this one especially, I feel like anyone who hated this foundation is because they were putting on their skin and their skin wasn't properly prepped. So it just looked bad. Just yep. not good. I think it's a great formula. I'm I'm happy to see it on this list. I'm not really surprised to see it on this list, but I do think that MAC has better formulas than that one. I have not used this since 2004, <laughs> five. I wore this foundation on the Miss America competition no stage. Way. Do you remember what shade you wore? I do not remember. Don't and me. it was way too light. I have pictures of me looking like tan because I was like yeah. spray tan. And then you were Casper? And then I was Casper. Yeah. And this is the foundation I was wearing. My entire makeup kit. Yeah. For the stage was MAC. Well, MAC is a staple. It's, yeah. I mean, like especially the back then. Bought. That yeah. was the brand. Like, that was the brand that, like, if you're going to be on camera, especially or on oh, stage, yeah. like. And you need it to last. Yeah. You were wearing MAC. Yeah. Absolutely. You yeah. know what smell I remember the most is not the smell of this foundation, but the smell of the makeup wipes. The MAC ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I like makeup this, wipes yeah. back then. Yeah, me too. I used, yeah. Those were expensive back then, too. Oh, I remember yeah. thinking, like, oh my God, it's such a waste of money. I'm just like throwing this out the window, yep. basically. I would put on my strobe cream. Oh, strobe cream is so good. I actually think it's amazing. So good. The pink one. Yes. The pink illuminating one is so I beautiful. I put on the strobe cream, put this on my face. Yeah. That's a great combination. Yeah. So I did you not that? contour back then. I don't even know so, if I, there was like contour sticks available, but I did not contour back then. So I would wear this mm -hmm. and I would wear like a bold lip, lots of mascara, super brown eyeshadow. Brows? I don't think I ever did my brows. <gasps> Yeah, very so 2004. This takes me back. This yeah. takes me back. Yeah, great foundation. I am going to rank it purely based on like formula and how good it is, and how classic it is, and how it's just like a no fail for a full coverage. I'm going to rate it a 4.5. Ooh, you're giving it a good rating. I'm going to assume because I was wearing it so long ago that I wouldn't love it now. No. Like everything about what I liked has changed so much. So I think. I personally probably wouldn't love it anymore, but it was good for stage. Mm -hmm. And I'll give it some nostalgia points. I'll probably give it like a 3.5 or a four. Like I'm kind of torn. Wow. Can I give it a 3.6? Yeah, 3. not? 3.7? Something like that. Yeah, that seems fair. Okay. Just because it's not for you doesn't mean it's not for other people. And I will throw out there, it has an SPF 15 to it. I always, like for years, blamed the SPF 15 in it, giving me flashback for the reason why I looked like Casper in all my Miss America no, photos. No, you didn't. You blamed that? I blamed Blamed that when in reality I probably just used the light. Like well, I, they didn't have, or they might have had the right shade back then for me. I don't think they did. Back in 2004, there was not the right shade for my skin. No, though. you just didn't buy it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right well, now. Well, then you somebody at the counter, it, somebody at the counter gave exactly. me the wrong shade. They color matched you incorrectly, or you yes. didn't look for it. They enough. color. I never. I didn't even pick it. I. I remember the day I was gonna. I realized I was gonna co-compete at Miss New Mexico. Mm -hmm. I walked over to the Mac counter because I worked at the Clinique counter, oh. and I walked over there and I was like, Michael, pick out my whole kit. His name was Michael. Oh. And Way to go, Michael. Yeah, Michael did my makeup a few times. Well, Michael, would you give her like NC10? Okay, let's see what the reviews say. First off, there are 4,400 reviews. Nice. 4.3 stars. So yeah. you're kind of thinking the way yeah. I'm thinking. Let's see what the reviews actually have to say though. Okay, the most helpful is five stars. Oh. Just wanted to counter the negative reviews. I noticed a few negative reviews here and I'm someone who reads reviews very carefully, be carefully before buying. This is my absolute favorite foundation of all time. I went for 27 years. Okay, yeah, the first 13 were not spent wearing makeup, but still. I was willing to try anything, but not committed to any brand type, finish, whatever. The One Step Powder is good for lazy days and looks great, but this stuff makes me look fantastic. I get compliments on my complexion, which is actually kind of rough, and I look very even, smooth, and matte. This has an excellent coverage. The best coverage of any foundation I've used without being too thick and cakey. Okay, my skin is oily, fair, discoloration. Okay. okay. The worst review is only three stars. The last two had two stars for yeah. the first review. I would definitely say I, I have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. I purchased it at the MAC store, which I prefer doing because it will test it out and match your color. We had a hard time matching me with the right shade because typically I'm an NC20. However, this, this particular foundation has a fairly strong yellow undertone, and it looked okay at first, but the more I looked at it in the mirror, the more I was like, holy cow, my face is really yellow. So I ended up having to switch back and forth. So it oxidized on her. Mm -hmm. I can see that happening actually. Maybe not oxidized, but I will agree like the NCs, they're very yellow. Like they pull very, very yellow. They're supposed to be NC, like stands for neutral cool, even though like let's not get into it, but cool is actually more of a red, pink undertone in the other makeup yeah. world. 
But in Mac world, it stands for yellow, a yellow undertone. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, so it's okay. the opposite. I used to always mix, like for myself when I worked at Mac, I used to always mix an NC with an NW because I always wanted more of a neutral because the NCs, even though I have more of a warm golden undertone, which would mean an NC in Mac, the Mac world, it was still so yellow against my complexion. Interesting. So I can see her point and I, to, can totally understand why she thought it was just too yellow. But she's I, not I don't know what she looks like, yeah. but. But she's not saying she doesn't like the foundation. She just had a hard time with the color. Right color. Yeah, it's a common thing. It's a high coverage matte foundation. But it still looks smooth. It still, it doesn't look cakey unless you really just don't put any skin prep underneath. If you put the right skin prep, it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful full coverage foundation. Classic. So Great far, three, three classics. Yeah, super classic. All right, hit us with the next one. Tarte Amazonian Clay 16 hour full coverage foundation. Rough. Really rough. This, honestly, all the foundations <clears throat> were behind a decade. What I'm realizing is the top sellers of foundation at Ulta are definitely more of the throwback. So definitely mm -hmm. more staple, not trend. Not, not trendy like, at like, all. I'm yeah. actually, I didn't realize this at all about it's the difference kind of between Sephora and Ulta is yeah. that Sephora seems more trend driven. Ulta seems more staple driven. Mm -hmm. Have you tried this foundation? Years ago, like 10 years ago, yeah. I tried that foundation. And I don't remember loving this one. I don't remember it that much to be quite honest, but I do remember at the time, I didn't like this one. I liked the matte, <laughs> shocker. I liked the Ten years matte. Ago. Yeah. yeah, it came like a turquoise. Yeah, oh, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, same thing, it had like a little wooden cap. It was like yeah. a fancy, like a little wooden cap. I love that foundation. I wore it all the time. It left my skin super matte, which I always wanted. Like suck all the moisture out of my skin, please. Mm -hmm. So I love that one. This one was just kind of like, eh. This one feels like actual clay to me. Oh yes. Like it so has- the matte one. The matte has, one felt like clay too. Yeah, it has clay in it. It feels like yeah, it's got clay It feels clay like a clay it. mask, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It does not give you a glow. That's I don't, for sure. I don't love it. I would never wear this. I would never recommend it to anybody. I would I'll never, never try this again. No, no. And I'll never try the matte one again. Okay, so two. Two. Yeah, I think it too. It's in the top sellers list, so we're, we're definitely low. 3.4 stars, actually. So of the okay. ones we've talked about so it's far. It's lower. It only has 1,300 reviews also. Oh, okay. Let's see how much it costs. $40. Ooh. This is whoa. 68% would recommend this product to a friend. So all the other ones had a 90, 90 and up, and up recommendation like 90 rate. 95%, yeah. So way more people would not recommend this product. Yes. Five stars for the top review. And it says, despite the reviews, I think it's great. I give it five stars. Wow, I'm glad I did not read the reviews before purchasing because I would have been skeptical. The older formula did not work for me as I need full coverage for my melasma. Mm. This gives me my full coverage without having to layer it on. Mm. It really looks very nice and as skin-like as possible when wearing full coverage, trying to cover what I have. I say little is more. Start off using the minimal and build up only where needed, either with the foundation or with the concealer. This is very, very long. Lasts her 16 hours. She loves it. But very thorough. Yeah. Like if I read this review and I was torn, this is a very helpful, very helpful review. This like, is also really good to know. The lower review is a one mm -hmm. and it says the new formula is terrible. So she was referring to a new formula and this person's referring to a new formula. So it very sounds like this is a new formula. I actually was at Ulta a few days ago and like just kind of was like feeling some of the foundations and I felt this one and it still felt like clay to me. So yeah, thick. I was not interested. This person says, I have faithfully used this foundation for about seven years now. In the last year, Tarte changed the formula with this foundation is absolutely horrendous. I can't find a shade that matches me anymore. And I oh. thought something was off with the texture of it and now came here to realize reviews say it's a new formula, new to me. The old formula was lightweight and even coverage and just went on beautifully. This new formula is so thick and sticky and never dries. It just smears hours after application through the day. I mean, I think wow. just hearing somebody say that makes me want to drop my review for it even more too. Yeah, I know. Because I think it does feel like just kind of cakey and yucky and thick. Yeah, I hate hearing that they are now having a hard time finding their shade. Tarte has always been terrible at their shades. Like their shade range is appalling. I'm going to take it back. I'm going to give it a 1.5. Ooh, ouch. But maybe I'm being a little mean now. Okay. After reading those reviews. Yeah. They, they swayed us. You're not gonna believe the next one. It's the Bare Minerals Original Loose Powder Foundation. The one that you were taught to like get the, the, the brush, little, the brush swirl it in the cap, mm -hmm. tap, tap, and then buff it in. That you could sleep in, remember that? That one? Yeah. No. Throw back, There's yes. There's no way they're talking about that one. This is what they're talking about. It's on the top. People top still list. buy that? 
I didn't even know it was still around. When it first came out, I was definitely a teenager. I remember seeing the commercials for it and I wanted to buy it so much, but I couldn't afford it. I bought it because I, I was so an adult. Out. I was an adult who wanted to <laughs> sleep adult. around and I wanted to stay the night at men's houses and, and sleep and in your sleep makeup. In my makeup. So they sold me. Oh <laughs> but, my gosh. But you know what I always remember about this foundation? Foundation. First off, you guys, it is a powder. It's a it is chalky powder. Chalky powder. I always looked chalky yeah. when I would wear it, especially as my foundation. And I also was not wearing a lot of skin prep at the time too, because I was in my 20s. No way, really? Yeah. <laughs> my skin was like dry. You don't, you don't say. You don't say. <laughs> so my skin was super dry. I would put this on my face. I would look chalky. Like it would be like, you know, like creasing with your like liquid products. Mm -hmm. Like imagine creasing with your chalky powder foundation. <laughs> Like I would walk around with creasy skin. And at some point I was like, this doesn't look good. Like I even had the wherewithal at, in my twenties to be like, this doesn't look good. This isn't right. Like, but you slept on. in it. Oh yeah. I would sleep in this cause I could sleep in it. It was foundation. I could so sleep let me in. ask you this. Did you take it off the next day or did you just put oh, some more on? You I don't remember. <laughs> you put more on <laughs> and use that same oh. dirty brush. That was like probably frayed oh, like this. I never washed that brush. Nobody washed that brush. Are you kidding me? Never. Nobody washed that brush. Never. I'm shocked this is on the list. I'm actually shocked. Well, what, what are you going to rate it? Oh, got a one. One. Yeah. Yeah. This it, is one of the bad. worst things ever it made. Bad. Yeah. But there you know what? Maybe at the times it products. was good. It was better at the time. No, it wasn't. No, it looked terrible even then. I, I remember being like, why does no, everybody it was love terrible. This? It looked terrible, but we had very limited options back then. We had MAC and Double Wear. I don't know. Yeah. Bare Minerals definitely had a better comeback later, but this specific product that put them on the map mm -hmm. should be banned. <laughs> Let's see what people have to say. Okay. There are 14,500 reviews. 4.6. Oh my Why? goodness. Oh my goodness. 4.6. Well, we a decent shade range. Yeah, decent shade range. 96% would 96%, recommend to yeah, a friend. Would recommend it to a friend. Five stars. I've been using this for 18 years. I'll never switch. I've been using the Bare Minerals Original Foundation since 1999, and I will never switch back to a liquid foundation or a different foundation ever again. Mm. Since 1999, I can say that I've had a handful of breakouts, if that. I have health issues. Okay. So um, she's got very specific things that she's okay. looking for. I'm glad it works for her then. Me too. Maybe they don't need to get rid of it. Okay. But this person gives it only one star and Ruined they would probably skin. say, get rid of it. Bare Minerals ruined my skin. Please read. Back in January, I started using the Bare Minerals original foundation. I was hooked instantly. Super easy to apply. Plus it felt great on my skin. Shortly after starting this foundation, I started experiencing horrible breakouts. I'm not talking about a single pimple. My doctor prescribed me Epiduo and oral antibiotics. Nothing was working. Finally, I decided to do some research into Bare Minerals. Minerals. I was shocked when I found a page after page filled with information on why this is some of the worst stuff for your face. Type in bare minerals causing acne. Whoa. Yeah. Well, I don't agree with that, but I agree. It sucks. Those are two wildly different experiences. Wildly with that different products. How do you guys feel about Owen? I'm so curious. Yeah. Leave us a comment so we know. Yeah. Are we the odd men out? No there way. There's so many reviews on I that foundation. I don't know one it's person. I don't know one person using that. I don't either. You're going to be really happy. Please tell me we have good news. We have redemption. Are we in the current year? We're, we're in the current year. We're close. Yeah, close. We're in the current last two years. NARS light reflecting foundation. Wow. Fantastic. Amazing. We had a lot of old school staples and now we've got a new one who's crept in. And honestly, now seeing like what the list has been so far, I'm really proud of NARS for making their way in. Me too. I like, mean, that's they a really huge accomplishment. In. They crept in in the, in the midst of a lot of matte full coverage Data makeup. formulas. Yeah. NARS oh, crept in there. So. Amazing. And that's a great formula. You got me into that one. I yep. remember you tried it when it first came out. It's beautiful. I tried it once and I was like, oh, Okay. I just didn't give it a good enough chance and I finally got back into it and I love that foundation now. It's such a beautiful foundation. Yeah. I, mean, I love it. We already kind of reviewed this in the Sephora one and we, yeah. said, we said we loved it. I can't remember what I rated it there. I want to say we gave it like a four. I want to say like a four or 4.5. We should probably look. Um, honestly, like, but what's funny is like, this is how like things can change, like according to like the context and everything. Mm -hmm. Amongst all the foundations that we have reviewed, if you want something that's glowy, everything pretty much that we've reviewed, except for that It Cosmetics Nude Glow have been 
in matte full coverage for the most part. Satin and matte. Yeah. yeah. So I like a glowy, glowy finish. Mm -hmm. And I would say, just like I was saying in that nude glow, like I would prefer I, to use this than the nude glow from It Cosmetics. It's just way better. It's like, it's just so far superior to that formula. It's lightweight. It's it even... gives you glow. It looks mm -hmm. beautiful. It's not going to crease. Like it just it sits on your skin beautifully. So yeah. now I don't even remember what I rated mm -hmm. it in the Sephora video, but in the Sephora video, we were like loving foundations. Yeah. This I like haven't loved really anything so far. Yeah. So besides double wear, I'm gonna now give this a 4.5. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give it amongst a this list 4.5. Right. Okay. All right. Amongst this list, I'll give it a 4.5 as well. Now, if we were talking like you know the foundations we were talking about in that Sephora video, it'd be a little different. I'd probably rate it a yeah, four. Yeah, like House Labs, you would have given it. So I didn't have yeah. given it a four. Yeah. Yeah. But in selling, this yeah. in this realm that we're in. Yes. Of context. Dated. Context matters. So there's only 950 reviews. It is, it is way new. newer. Yeah. Compared weirder. to all the other ones. 4.3 average stars. 89% would recommend this. So That's I think amongst the people that love the matte makeup, they're still getting used to it. So it's pretty good. Again, I'm proud of NARS for making, for Me cracking too. the list. The most positive review is only four stars. All the other ones that were positive reviews had five stars. Would give 4.5 stars if it could. Almost perfect for me. Okay. So far, so good. I'm still playing around with application primer powders, etc., to determine what works best for my skin. I absolutely love the light serum texture with light to medium coverage, which I prefer. I do not like heavy foundations at all, and this one is perfect. Couldn't seem to find the perfect color match. Okay, so that's like the biggest problem, it seems like, mm -hmm. the color. The bad review says two stars. Seriously, what's the hype? I was so excited to finally get my hands on the shade number three, Gobi, at the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation that I need that I drove 30 minutes across town to a local Ulta to make the purchase. Mm. I tried this foundation on the next day after prepping my face as usual, it's skincare, sunscreen, and primer. This first day, I used a brush to apply the foundation. It looks all right. Nothing mind blowing or light reflecting. It applies on as a satin finish more than a natural finish on my dry skin. How dry is your skin? What are you prepping your skin with though? I know she's playing around, she said, but... Skincare, sunscreen, and primer. Yeah. I but, think the but primer which... is is one of those old school mattifying primers. Yeah, then just skip the, skip the, the primer. primer. Get a glowy SPF and put it on top and then see how you feel. I eventually went out under a mask for around two hours, checked my foundation underneath the mask, and everything has broken up already. Under a mask? That's that's a hard that's, uh, that's situation. Rough. Yeah. It's like I think all foundations break under a mask. Okay. Okay. We love this foundation. It's really great. These reviews. It sounds are like she needs to play personal. around a little bit more with like yeah. she was saying, the skin prep to find like that right balance yeah. for, for I bet what if she, she ditches needs. that primer, it'll be perfect. It doesn't I need what a primer. primer. It, is. it doesn't I... need a primer. All right, next one. The OG, the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream, SPF 50. Great. The OG one. The OG. Yeah. Nostalgia. I'll let you talk more about yeah. this. Yeah. Nostalgia, holy grail. Like, it, I love it. It is full coverage. Do I use it anymore? Not really. Mm -hmm. My preference for what I want for my finish, I guess, has changed. And I also rely on my actual sunscreen as my sunscreen. Right. So I don't love, love it anymore, but it was a holy grail for a very long time. And I wouldn't be sad using it again. If somebody was like, this is all you got. Right. I would be very be happy. happy. Yeah. Very high coverage. Yeah. It's a good formula. It, yeah. it is. I like it. I'm going to rate it a four. I'll rate it a 3.5. Okay. Fair. It has... 30,600 reviews. Wow. Wow. 4.3 average stars. 87% would recommend this product. Okay, not bad. The high review is five stars. Very pleased. I ordered the CC cream because it had more shades than the Bye Bye Foundation and it had travel size. So I could try the different shades to get closer to a match for my skin. I really like the CC cream. It's a bit lighter than the Bye Bye Foundation in weight. Goes on smoothly and moisturizes my skin well. I have drier skin, especially around the eyes. Good coverage, but I do wear the Bye Bye concealer with it. Gives your skin a dewy appearance, which I like. Critical one, the one that's bad, one star, updated review. I bought this at the end of January. I only wear makeup once or twice a week. I love the coverage your skin gives, but the quality of the packaging is terrible. Oh. Oh, this is just to do with the packaging. Are they talking about the pump? She said the lid does not pop back on, so they had to trash it. What? So it leaked. It sounds like this person just had a packaging issue. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. You ready for the final? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. The last one is Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. You love this one. It's their tinted moisturizer. Yeah. I, I love it. you raving about this one. So much of the, you influenced me to buy it and I, I, I hardly wore it. I think I'm the shade wheat. Wheat. <sighs> but I love it. I think it's like a really nice skin tint. I've moved on from it because yeah. there are so many other really the incredible. It's fierce. stiff, man. Yeah. yeah. But back in a time when you couldn't find all these skin tints and really good tinted moisturizers, yeah. like, 
Back when that launched, I remember it feeling like it was revolutionary because tinted moisturizers didn't feel that great. Yeah. Like they were just kind of blah. Like you wanted a tinted moisturizer, but you couldn't really find one that gave like good coverage, yeah. that set well, that like did a good job. Yeah. This one was great. Um, and it, it was SPF 30. So again, back then it felt too, better, right? Well, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got my sunscreen covered too. Yeah. And also the competition when that was launched was Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. Like that was like- the, Essentially. That was like the only tinted moisturizer that was really talked about. That I can think of. There I was mean, like an actual tinted moisturizer, not like the yeah. eight cosmetics where you got a lot of coverage, coverage and it didn't really feel like a tinted moisturizer. The Laura Mercier actually felt like a true tinted moisturizer. Yeah. Okay. What are we going to rate it? I feel like I can't rate it. So- because I've only ever tried like a couple times. Um, <clears throat> context matters. Yes. So I'll give it a few more points than I would if it was like on the Sephora list. Yes, of course. Nostalgia matters. Yeah. I actually think I would still enjoy using this. Like not as I my sunscreen, but I think yeah. I would still enjoy using this. So I'm going to give it a four. That seems fair. Average star rating is 4.4. There are 8,600 reviews. Okay. This person gave it four stars as the highest rating. The first time I used this, it was a disaster. So shiny with a grayish undercast. I thought I'd made a mistake, but I really wanted it to work. I'd been using the serum and that wasn't working for me. My complexion always looked dull. So I persisted with Complexion Rescue and now I absolutely love it. My skin is nice, illuminated. The level of hydration is perfect for my skin. So it was a tip. Don't use too much. I can't emphasize this enough, a pea-sized amount. After blending, let it soak in for a few minutes. Coverage is light to medium. If you have dark circles or red spots, dab a concealer on those areas. Good tip. The bad review is one star. Beware, size is now much smaller. Oh, these are more like- Really? You know, the ultra reviews are people who are upset about like the past. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the tube size has been changed significantly, but the price has not. This now costs about $14 an ounce more than it did previously. This makes the product way too expensive. Seems very sneaky. I love the product for several years, but now the hugely increased cost per ounce means blah, 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 blah. So this is a person upset about the price, okay. not about the actual formula. And rightfully so, if they raise the price and it's- It's $37. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. There we go. Interesting. Ulta. Very- That was way different than I expected it to be. Honestly, I didn't expect- any of the ones that are on the list. Yeah, I'm None. definitely thrown off a little. Very. The amount of reviews and everything. I yeah. just didn't realize these products were still like being purchased. I didn't either. I'm, yeah. I'm so surprised. I'm enlightened. Actually, I'm in, it's actually really good to know these things. Is enlightened. That is the word because sometimes we get stuck in our industry bubble. Yes. And, and in you trend. just assume that everyone is up to date with mm -hmm. the trends and the new formulas yeah. and like the current Or that they want trends. Amazing. Yeah. Some people do not want to move off of, and that's I mean, shoot, totally my mom, fine. even me starting my own skincare line, yeah. I had to pry the Clinique three-step system out of my mom's no hands way. to get her to start using Naturium, her yeah. own daughter's brand, that because she refused so funny. to change, yeah. you know? That yeah. was like, so I imagine this happens with makeup too. Absolutely. You get used to seeing your complexion one way, your face one way, and you get used to like the formula and how it sits on your skin. I get I get I it. Get it. But it I works for you. also feel bad a little bit because there are so many better formulas out there than the ones we just saw on this list, than most of the ones we saw on the yeah. list. So we need to go on tour. Yeah. Skin prepping and makeup. I would love to give out samples. Like if you like this, I'm, I'm going to give you a one. sample of this and it's going to rock Tell me your, your world. Skin yeah. issues. What's yeah. your skin type? Use this. Yeah. What do you guys think? I'm actually really curious what the comments of this video are going to be. Me too. Very, very curious because I have no idea what anyone else is thinking about these foundations yeah. that we just reviewed or the, what they think we like about our ratings for them. Yeah. Too. Anyway, leave it in the comments below. Find us on social media. I'm at Susan Yara and Makeup by Nikki LaRose. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.